Welcome. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to quickly and easily draw an occupied zone located in a pitched roof structure. The tutorial will reinforce the concepts of using construction lines, zoning and cutting blocks introduced earlier. Further information on the individual topics covered is available in the help file. We start with a small two-storey building. Our first task is to add the pitched roof, which in this case will be gable-ended with a 45 degree slope. Use the Add Block tool, set the building block form to pitched roof, check the gable roof option and leave the roof space occupied option unchecked. Set the roof slope to 45 degrees. It's always advisable to set the roof wall thickness to a realistic value, ideally no greater than around 0.1 meters for an uninsulated roof slope. Thick roof walls can make it more difficult to model associated geometry like dormer windows. I'll set the roof wall thickness to 0.1 meters. Set the perimeter shape to rectangle and draw the roof. For this tutorial, we will assume that the vertical dwarf walls of the room are located 1.5 meters from each edge of the roof. First draw the 1.5 meter construction lines at each end to provide a start point for the partition walls. and then look, draw the partitions in the normal way. Notice how the partition walls automatically trim to the relevant construction boundary. We now need to create the ceiling of the room in the roof, which we will set to 2.5 meters high. The easiest way to do this is to cut the roof block at the required zone height. First go to building level and use construction lines to define the cut height. Now select the block and cut it along the horizontal plane at a height of 2.5 meters. Going to block level, we can see that the occupied zone is zone 2 here. We can also see that the activity is set to none, i.e. that all zones in the roof are semi-exterior unconditioned zones. This is also denoted by the green zone names in the navigation panel here. Go to zone 2 and change the zone type in the activity tab to standard. Then change the activity template to the relevant activity. We'll assume 
that it is to be an open office. Which we select by double clicking here. We can see that it's now been loaded. Go back to block level in the layout tab. And we can see that the zone is now listed as an open office. One of the powerful time saving features of Design Builder is automatic data inheritance. This will be discussed in detail in later tutorials. In this room in roof example, the floor, wall and ceiling constructions in the newly created open office automatically inherit construction data relevant to an occupied zone. This reduces to a minimum the amount of data entry required to define the building. Further information on these topics can be found in the help file.